Hey guys, Raven Knight here. Um, here with another update video. Got a lot to talk about today. It's uh, all of it's important. I, I need to go ahead and get into it. So let's just jump right in. Let's not waste any time. So the first and foremost thing, the big thing is, um, I'm quitting my job. It's, I'm going to be turning in my two week notice probably uh, soon. I just can't do it anymore. I've worked with this company for you know almost three years I worked with it when I was in college then I quit to start my master's program so that I could focus on school after the teaching thing didn't work out I went back worked with it then moved worked at another family company and now I just can't do it this this uh, restaurant has been pushing me too far and uh, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere with it I don't want to I don't want to spend any more time there I don't know what I'm going to do just yet I'm looking at possibly going to another restaurant or finding another line of work or going back to teaching. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, so this is kind of a big step for me. And it's also kind of a leap because I don't know where I'm going to land. Um, so it's been very heavy on my heart and on my mind lately. I made this decision. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I made this decision last night because of what happened at work. It was awful. It was just a, a very embarrassing moment um it was nothing i did it's what one of the other workers did and how they responded to my criticism um let me just ask you a question if you have a work if you have an employee in your workforce that you work with who doesn't do their job and when you call them out for not doing their job and then they publicly accost you and belittle you in front of everyone and when you go to the manager about it and they say essentially nothing's going to happen about it. They're not going to get fired. They're not going to get reprimanded or anything like that. Then that's when you know this isn't the place for you to work. I won't go into any more detail than that for the company's own security reasons. But know that that's a big step I'm taking. And it's been very heavy on my heart lately. So there's that. Second piece of information. It doesn't get any better from here. My parents both have COVID. Um... <clears throat> now, let me explain why this is a big deal. For about a year now, my cousin has been planning a wedding in Washington, D.C., and my family has been super excited to do this. We had to postpone because of COVID, but now we have the date set. We know when it's going to be. We are super excited to go. My mom, more than anyone, because it's my cousin on my mom's side, my mom's sister's son. So she's been more excited than any of us to go see this thing. I mean, we're all excited, but mom has been buying clothes for everybody, getting tickets down, kind of reminding us if you got this ready, if you got this done, all that kind of stuff. And then we get the call a couple days ago. She's been uh, diagnosed with the coronavirus. And why this sucks is she has to quarantine herself now my dad lives with her so he had to get himself tested and he's got it too which means both of them have to quarantine themselves for up to nine to ten days and that's going to be well past the time of the wedding and the, the reason this is so awful is because again my mom was the one who was super duper excited to do this she has been putting her heart and soul into getting us over there and now it's her that got sick and can't go if it were just me or my brother who got sick that'd be very disappointing but at least mom would get to go and see her sister and congratulate sam and all that it's her now who's not being able to go now me and my brother were totally ready to go to the wedding in, in their place and say hey you know what we'll go and represent you we'll still take our time off and go down there but dad pointed out to me here's the thing other than your cousin sam you don't know everyone that's going to be there you'd probably just be driving all the way from south carolina up to washington dc just to show up to the wedding and say hey congratulations sam real proud of you and that's about it because they're going to be focused on the wedding sam's going to be focused on what he needs to do your aunt and uncle are going to be focused on what they need to do the people you know would not be able to spend time with you or converse with you it would be a very long trip for you to not get a whole lot out of it now it wouldn't matter to me and my brother we'd go to support our family anyway but he makes a good point so he made a new recommendation he offered that instead of me calling up work and saying, here, I'll work those days I asked off, he said, why don't you take a vacation? Because you've been having a lot of trouble with work and all that fun stuff. So why don't you take a vacation? So me and my brother are going to be going down to Orlando from Thursday through Sunday. We're probably going to hit up someplace like, I don't know, Disney World or I don't know. 
we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do, but we've decided to take a vacation, and, it, and I hate to do it only because I love my cousin, I love my aunt and uncle, they've been very supportive of me, I want to support them, but um, with mom and dad not being able to go, it, it just wouldn't feel the same. So a lot of this came on kind of quickly. And then the um, the last thing that I that's been kind of heavy is um, money. Um, money has been kind of slow because of an injury that I suffered um, at work. I wasn't able to do a lot of the higher paying stuff like cooking or serving. I was hosting. Hosting is fine, but hosting only gets you paid by the hour. So per shift, I was only making about ninety to a hundred dollars. That's not a lot when you consider that when I would serve or cook, I might make almost 200 a shift. So it's not a lot of money. Um, so money is a little tight. So this is my... I, I haven't done this much, but I'm going to do it here. I'm going to plug my Teespring store. If you, uh, Some of y'all, whenever I do a live stream, like to send me money um, through Super Chat, which is great. I love that you do it. But if you want to send me money or donate to the channel and to me... Why not consider donating at the Teespring store? I've got a whole new bunch of merchandise up. We've got in, we've got some uh, merchandise with one of my uh, Raven Chibis that I use for my response videos. Uh, we've got um, this funny little uh, image that Hannah drew of a female version of me for July the 4th, like a patriotic thing. I think we called it American Toast or a Raven State of America, something like that. Got a lot of stuff with that on it. We got some Raven Lord merchandise. We've got a lot of stuff. I'll leave the link in the description. Please consider going to check it out. Any donation would really help out the channel and really help me out. It means a lot that you do. Um, just consider that. Not begging. Just It would be really helpful for the channel. Okay, so with all the heavy stuff out of the way, let's talk about some of the smaller things. Okay, everyone has been asking me to do a Kyoshin video. Are you going to do an analysis of Kyoshin? Are you going to do a Heroes and History of Kyoshin? Of course I'm going to do a Kyoshin video, guys. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but I am going to do, I am going to do it. But the reason I'm waiting is because I want some time to really feel out the hero. I cannot do a gut reaction of this hero because if I just do a gut reaction, things are going to change or... A new meta is going to be revealed about the character. Because here's the thing. When I first started playing with Kyoshin, I thought they were amazing. Really well balanced. Really amazing. Now that I've been playing them a while, I'm starting to see their flaws. I'm starting to see the issues with Kyoshin's moveset. I'm starting to see some of the weaknesses they have. And so I'm glad I didn't just jump on a Heroes in History or a uh, analysis video right away. Because if I did, then I wouldn't have seen all this stuff. I needed to sit down and really think this stuff out. I'm glad I did. When I get back from my vacation, I will work on a Kyoshin video. I will do a, a analysis video for Kyoshin, okay? Okay. That's in the process. All right. Next. Um, people like to see my response videos. I've gotten plenty of comments from people saying that they want to see me do more response videos. I would love to, but I need material. Um, so if you see any videos or articles that you think are ridiculous or silly or weird or offensive or anything of that nature, and you think that I should cover it in a response video, please send it to me um, in a comment or send it to me on Discord if you're with me on Discord, and I will take a look at it and see if it's worth responding to. My brother and I have thought about doing a response video to the sequel of that Darman video. If you haven't seen it yet, I did a video where I responded to Darman's video about girl gamers. There's a sequel to that video that's out, and we have thought about doing a response video to that sequel because it's pretty cringe as well. What do y'all think? Would you like to see us do that? Let us know in the comments section. Uh, next point, the Skyrim video. Or videos, because it's not just one. My brother's going to be tackling both the Stormcloak and Imperials. Um, but it's going to take multiple videos. He, is st he has been spending the last several days playing nothing but Skyrim and getting his uh, information and footage down. I think he's in the editing phase now because he's uh, just about done scripting. It's still taking some time. He puts a lot of effort into this, guys. He's been... D diving into the lore the thing about my brother's videos is these aren't just quick um paint by numbers videos he really does deep dives into the lore we talk about it we analyze we really go into deep discussions about this this is not something that we want to half-ass i know it takes longer to make these videos 
but he is working on them. Okay, so also I should go ahead and say 11,000 subs. I, I have over 11,000 subs, and it feels like only a few days ago I just got 10,000 subs. The amount, the rate at which this channel is growing is amazing. I'm so happy that it's grown so much. I'm actually gaining a lot more uh, followers than I ever would have thought possible. I think part of it's because For Honor has been getting a lot more attention lately. I think it's also because um, I think people were starved for this kind of historical-based content, and I'm glad to offer it. I know I'm not great it for honor i know i'm not great at everything i do i know that this channel is kind of subpar in my opinion but i'm glad to be able to do it i'm glad to be able to give y'all something that you enjoy i hope you'll continue to come back and keep seeing me release more stuff and if you ever want to support the channel by just subscribing by and or just donating to the site whenever i do a live stream or going to the teespring store any way you can help the site really helps me out everyone keeps asking would you ever want to make youtube your full-time career if I could make money consistently from YouTube, yes. Okay, if I could make 400 to $500 a week off of YouTube, I would quit my other jobs and just do this full time. You know, but that's what it has to be. I have to be making a decent amount of money. And right now, I think I'm only making close to $400 a month. That's not enough. That's, that's not enough for me to live off of. So that's why, but 11,000 is a great milestone. I cannot wait for us to hit 15, maybe even 20,000. It's going to be awesome, guys. Thank you so much for your support. All right, next question. Uh, people have been asking me about the werewolf video. It will come out after the vacation. When I get back from this vacation, wherever we go, whatever we do, I will work on the werewolf video. Okay? Okay. Um, I know that people are disappointed that it's taking a while, but I promise I'm working on it. It's just taking a bit of time. Also, wanted to know, what did y'all think of the Dead by Daylight video? Did y'all enjoy that? Did y'all like the Trapper video? Did you like the little montage I did at the end? I'm not great at these montages, but they're kind of fun to work on whenever I have the footage to do it. Um, it was a lot of fun playing the Trapper, but let me just go ahead and say this. I'm decent as the Trapper. I'm not decent at all the other killers. Um, I'm, well, I take that back. I'm okay as Spirit, okay as Oni, and passable as a few of the others. But when we get to ones like the Wraith or the Nurse or any of those, expect me to be pretty bad, okay? I'm not great at those. I probably won't be doing a compilation of memes for that video unless they're just cringe memes, okay? So we'll see. All right, and last but not least, as always, it's story sharing time. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my earliest stories, one of the first ones I ever worked on, The Night Angel. The Night Angel is a story that I worked on way back in the day. It's um, kind of this horror meets science fiction meets fantasy kind of story the story follows a young woman uh just getting out of high school named rebecca anderson and she is blessed you might say she has a knack for hunting monsters yes monsters are real werewolves vampires zombies all these different things um think supernatural the tv show only not uh cringe and what she does is she goes out and hunts these things, but she finds out that there's something coming. There's something dangerous coming. It's got the whole monster world up in a tizzy. And she is being referred to by some as what's called a night angel. And she doesn't know what that is. And she now has to travel to find out what is coming and find out what it means to be a night angel. It's kind of a mystery story, but also an action story. It has a lot of references to mythology and monsters in it. Um, my friend Hannah even drew a short little comic uh, for the introduction of the story. It's really cute, really cool. Um, you've seen a couple of the pictures scroll across the screen, I'm sure. Um, hope you like it. If you do think it looks interesting, I'll leave the link to the description for you to go check it out. It's almost done, actually. I think I've only got two or three more chapters left in it, and then that story will be done. I hope that y'all are interested in that, um, but that's our story sharing for today. Okay, guys, that about wraps things up. Let me go ahead and state some of the obvious here. There won't be a For Honor Friday this week because, again, I'll be out of town. Um, so that's not going to happen. Probably not going to be any live streams this week. I'm sorry to say that. I might do something Wednesday. Might being the operative word. But we'll see how that goes when we get there. Um, won't be a lot of uploads this week. I'll probably keep in touch with y'all via post, or if you're on Discord, you can hear from me there or ask me questions there, which is a great time to join the Discord. So check the description down below for a link to the Discord, a link to the Teespring store if you'd like to donate and really help out the channel and get some merchandise out of the deal, and also a link to the Night Angel so you can go read it if you're interested. Please leave a subscription if you are not subscribed yet because it will really help out the channel, and I'd really like to get us up to... Uh, 15, maybe even 20,000 subs in the near future. That'd be awesome. Uh, comment down below with your thoughts, your questions, your concerns. I'd be happy to hear from you. I always read the comments. And leave a like on the video. And I will see you in my next video. 
Take care.